I think my special feelings for Stephen began um, once I decided to leave air. Um, I hadn't finished my travels, which was my intention and when I first went up there. So I decided to continue travelling down the east coast with my friends. Um, and after two weeks of travelling, Steve found any excuse he could to fly down and visit me. Um, and then we spent a long weekend visiting his family. And I just got on with them so well. It felt like a family from, from far away. It just, it was natural. Um, and then it just, it became more difficult for me to be away from him, even although I was doing everything that I loved. Um, it didn't feel right not doing it with him, so that's when I realised that there was something special. And I think the thing I think is special about him um, is he's very romantic. Everyone knows him as a different person than, than I do, but um, apparently he's grown up a lot since um, he's, he's been out with his friends. But yeah, he's really romantic, he picks up on small things um, and we're very similar, so we got on really, really well. <laughs> How we met each other, um, well I was working away up in a little country town called Air, and um, Kim was doing her regional work for a second year visa and yeah we were just out in the local pub, I went out with the boys and um, she walked in one night in this beautiful yellow dress, I'll tell you what, I, I'll never forget how gorgeous she looked and caught me eye and I sort of kept an eye on her all night to see if she had a boyfriend or whatnot, and um, I saw her hanging around this fella and um, I was like, oh, she's taken, she's done, and um, turned out down the track he was a poof anyway, so um, <laughs> he, she was on the market and um, I bumped into her a couple of weeks later, I, I noticed her and um, didn't, didn't approach her anything, just kept it calm and the third time I saw her I said no nah, this is it this is fate I've got to I've got to go up and say something here and so I had down a few more beers and got a bit of Dutch courage up and yeah went up and strike the conversation and um, yeah got a phone number and yeah wine and dined her and that was it the rest is history <laughs>